within our leaflet model uh, here, we've got a series of DAM meshes that we've been imported. And what we're looking to do is combine them into a single uh, single mesh that we can use within our project. Yeah. Normally, if you had a low resolution DEM, then it'd be pretty simple because you'd just use the merge mesh tool. But in our case, we've got these gaps between these meshes and we don't have a low resolution mesh to, to combine. Yep. So how can we uh, create a surface that we can use for our merge mesh function? We're going to use the uh, this plane tool and we can create a mesh from our plane. So Fantastic. Yeah, so if we can make this mesh a little bit bigger, uh, bigger than the size of our actual input meshes. And then once we've done that, we're able to create a mesh directly from the plane tool itself. Wonderful. So under the meshes folder, we've got this mesh from moving plane that we can use. We get to choose its resolution and then we can choose its name. Uh, in this case, we're just going to keep both the defaults because we're just using it as a mesh that we're going to combine with our existing surfaces. Makes sense. So to combine these surfaces, we're going to use the merge mesh 2D operation, um, which is this one here. And we're able to select some detailed meshes and the base mesh itself. So in this case, the detailed meshes are uh, DEMs. Yep. And then the base mesh is going to be the plane that we created before. We have some options around changing the buffer distance and the resolution. And what is the buffer distance? The buffer distance is the distance around the input meshes that we're going to merge together. So where we need to make that com combination between the, the two sets of meshes, it's that distance around it. And then we set the resolution of the triangulation where that within that buffer distance. Fantastic. So we kind of want to set the name. Um, and in this case, we're just going to leave it as the default. And then I'm just going to click OK. And we should end up with a merged mesh. Now that's processed, um, what, what are we going to get? So we should end up with a mesh that has our detailed mesh on the interior. And then we have the outside, we have this additional plane that's that we can see outside of it fantastic and so we can now set that as our topography for our project yeah definitely so just right click use our new topography from surface and we're just going to choose that merge mesh that we just created brilliant thanks richard